No! no. no. They're just disrespectful as hell. We sick of this shit. Yeah. Right. We sick of all your asses. Yeah. Me and you two, all your politicians. We sick of all. Of them. Here's the story when we listen. When you need to talk this shit out here, can I stay the gas gone? Here, I am Mario Woods. Right. 
Right. But Oscar was never able to come back home because his life was taken. That's right. And right. so I say to you today that we have a fight. Yeah. And I want you to know that this race that we're fighting, it is not given to the swift That's nor right. to the oh, yeah. come on. Oh, yeah. come on. It is to the one that endures yeah. the yeah. Yeah. That no Persistent. matter what it seems like, you can't give in. You can't cannot give throw in the towel. Right. Yeah. 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 Black brothers and sisters, we are allowing our oppression. 
family members that are here. And we say we will not stop Mr. Gascon. And next time on each one of you, have the responsibility of bringing 100, 200, 300 people more until they cannot walk through the sidewalk, until they, they cannot drive to the driveway. That's and it. you have to come yeah. 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 We will not rest. We will not rest until they charge all of them, with all of those policemen, with murder. Oh, to the people! Yeah. To the people! 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 To the mother and father of Alec Nieto that is in pain of the pain right. and the agony. Right. And I'm here all the time right. to testify, to fight, and to try to find justice for the child. Right. Please welcome Elvira Nieto and Refugio Nieto. Come on! Yeah, our last speaker was part of the San Francisco hunger strike that took place for 27 days. Y no le tuvieron paciencia a los hijos de nosotros. Ven, 
aceptaron con, con este blanco ahora esto es que hoy estamos presentes aquí Diez o quince minutos, no hubiera, no se estaba hoy aquí, aquí anduvieran caminando en la calle con nosotros, nosotros solos, haciendo su vida, no teníamos por qué sacrificarnos, estar aquí, sacrificando para ver que el caso no tiene peor que los meros aquí. Pero siempre que llegan aquí con él, cuando le dan una cita, él dice que está falto de evidencia. La evidencia la tiene mucho tiempo ya en sus manos y no la da a saber hasta que ya se vea presionado. Y él siempre está lavado las manos. Que no puede hacer nada hasta que tenga nueva evidencia. ¿De dónde le va a llegar nueva evidencia si él tiene todo acumulado y mucho más? Gracias. Thank you. He always said that whenever we come to see him, he always said that he has no evidence. And that's such a lie. He has a lot of evidence. That's right. They got that. They got that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. 
city, right. county to county, um, office to office, to go and kill somebody else. Right. Maybe somebody's son might have been spared had you made them stand for accountability. Them charges against that murderer. Execute. Same way you would do us. You over institutionalize us and you don't do nothing to none of y'all. But maybe if you had, some of these children might have been spared. Right. Some of these parents might have been spared. That's right. That's maybe right. some That's of right. them might not be standing up here right now. But I tell you, if you go on YouTube right now and watch Kenny's video, you will tell somebody about it. And then they will come out. And then they will come out. And then they will come out. Because they don't want it to land at their door. Don't let it land at your door before you come out. Don't let it be your child, your loved one. Somebody that you care about before you're standing up here with a mic. en menos de 30 segundos en la 19 y Shadwell estando sentado en el suelo. The police killed him in less than 30 seconds while he was sitting on the floor. Put them. No le dieron ni una explicación. No le trataron de ayudar. Lo que hicieron es ejecutarlo. They did not give him any explanation. They did not try to help him. All they did was to execute him. That's right. To execute him. Él no hablaba español. Él es un indígena maya y él hablaba solo de maya. He did not speak Spanish either or English. He spoke only the Maya language. Y la policía dijo que los estaba amenazando cuando todo eso es una mentira. And the police said that he was threatening them when that all that had been proven to be a lie. Y aquí estamos para exigir que se haga justicia. Que el señor Gascón se ponga los pantalones y haga su trabajo. Ah! I'm here to ask Mr. Gascón to make justice happen because that's what we're here for. That he put his pants on, wear his pants the way he's supposed to wear them. Okay! Yeah! Porque esto no es un juego, es un asesinato y aquí todas las familias estamos exigiendo que se haga justicia bueno. por los familiares muertos 
porque nosotros tenemos una familia, somos padres, somos madres y que merecemos que se nos respete. And here we are, you know, demanding the thing because we be coming and, and uh, we are here to say that we are parents, we are families. We are here for all the families that we bring us to all the families. And we come so that we can respect them. Luis de Metro Gómez, la mamá y su esposa lo está llorando en Yucatán. Estamos exigiendo justicia a toda la familia. Muchas gracias. Luis Góngora is being crying and by his mother and his wife in Yucatán. We are asking for justice. Thank you very much. Gracias, mi amiga. Gracias. We also have someone here who's been holding this flyer for Jessica Wynn because we can't allow Jessica Nelson Williams to go on the tour. Right. 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 Rick. I would like a mother, uh, Marva Gwen Wood. I would like for Wanda Johnson. I would like for Danica Chapman. I would like for Anvira Nieto to just come, come here on, right mother. now, take right, this picture right, before right. you come all on, leave, come on, and put these mother. mothers here and put this We ain't going right. nowhere. Right. Mothers on the march! Mothers on the march! Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Uh, my camera keeps getting really hot, and I get warnings, so I'm kind of hunched over with my hat over the, the, the camera, and I can't move it around too much, so just bear with me. It's about 90 degrees out here. So we have all the mothers of all the slain, the murdered by the police. No, I'm not moving. Historic! 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 So I wish I could move the camera more, but we're trying to keep it cool. We are marching against, we are mothers marching against police murders. Is that right? Yes! We are marching today, and we're never going to stop. That's right. Now it's to the people, guys. Now it's to the people! Let's get the shot behind Si se puede. Let's give our mothers a round of applause. We want to hear from the doctors. Sister Felicia, would you introduce Dr. Rupa? Thank you. Yes, thank you, uh, Minister. So we're gathered here to bring together, to mobilize, organize for justice. And here's Dr. Rupa of Do No Harm. Yeah! Gracias, Dr. Thank you for inviting me to speak. Speak loud. I've been asked to be brief, so I'll be very brief. Um, we're with the UCSF Do No Harm Coalition. We are over 300 faculty, students, and staff committed to ending racism and state-sanctioned violence. We stand in alliance with the community members here who are seeking justice for their murdered family members. The, the communities cannot heal without justice. Justice is the medicine that is needed to, to heal the wounds that have been inflicted by the police department of San Francisco. Without justice, this wound will continue to fester in our communities and have adverse health outcomes. We recognize those health outcomes and we stand with you in your quest for justice. Thank you very much. Forefront of the Oscars. Let's just bring okay. Brother Rudy up. Okay. Come on with it. Give me that brother. That's all right. Brother Rudy. That's all right. Brudy. Brother Rudy. 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 Rudy.
of they say what's this called? The Hall of Justice? Yeah. In oh, Canada, they get it inside fighting the court case. Yeah. Right, right. Don't right. get that shit twisted because you see a player on my hat. We're here in solidarity to fight for the people. On, we are here in solidarity to fight for justice. Yeah. We are yeah. here in solidarity to fight for truth and equality for the people. Yeah. We always been down doing this. We some frontline soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in a foxhole. This man assaulted the police and got 45 years straight. Wow. Wow. You didn't hear me though. But a cop kills somebody and he don't even get one day. So what type of justice we talking about? So I'm gonna end like this. If you a part of this fight, you can't be soft. You can't be weak. You can't be no punk. You gotta be down standing up. We've been doing this shit for 23 years on the front line on ground zero. So you better keep your mind thick and your gang crispy and put your bootstraps on tight because we going to war, y'all. Yeah. All right, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Where's Ben from the Alex Nieto movement? Right here, brother, right here, right here. Right here. Latino yep, leader of the Alex Nieto movement, brother Ben. Murder is always Murder. You understand that? There, there is no statute of limitation right. on murder. You can get prosecuted when you are 99 years old for murder. The minimum burden of proof. All you need is what is called probable cause to charge these officers with murder! With murder, what? Uh, murder right? With murder. murder! Check out! Gascon was a coward and did not charge the four officers with murder who shot at Alex Nieto 59 times! Alright? Check out! And, and he thinks it's over! But the statute of limitations is never not! Run out. Never, never, run out. Never, run out. never run out! Never run out! We proved in the civil trial that there is more than probable cause to charge those four officers with murder! Right. Officer Schiff lied on the stand! All four of them lied saying that Alex Nieto was always pointing a taser at them. It was shown, undeniable physical evidence. Alex Nieto's wrist bone was in his pocket. That means that Alex Nieto had his hands in his pocket. That is at least Probable cause to charge these officers with murder. Right. All right. Right. And then I want to say right now that it is this kind of unity, this kind of coalition and love that will give us beauty, success, and always amor. Adios, all. Gracias. Gracias. attorney who's been in the fight, not only for Mario Woods, Oscar Grant, and so many others, this attorney, Dante Pointer, of the offices of John Burroughs. Please, let's give him a round of applause and some attention power to the people of Dante Pointer. All power to the people. All power to the people. Y'all are playing. Y'all are playing. Now listen, I've been on this road in terms of representing far too many families hugging far too many mothers, giving far too much counsel to people who have had their loved ones taken from them unlawfully, unjustly, in violation of the law, in violation of their policy, and in violation of the oath that these officers have been sworn to protect. Now let me tell you, I do civil rights defense now, but I once did criminal defense too. And I've seen much thinner cases, much more questionable cases. In fact, 
When they had no case, they put a case together yes, and prosecuted yes, people. Right, right, right here right, in this right, building right, behind me. Right. Right. And they did it. Look at you dead in the eye you with did. a clear conscience as far as they saw that they were doing their oath what? and their duty to prosecute. Well, the only thing we're asking is that you do the same thing here. Right. We're not asking you to go above and beyond your oath. We're not asking you to go around your oath. We're just asking you to walk the road that that oath has laid out for you to follow. Right. And that's to bring justice to these mothers like the ones that you've seen here today. To these families that you've seen here today. Right. To this community that wants more and expects more from its government. Now. We're not going to just ask, because when you ask that there's a that you have an ability to say yes or no. We are demanding that our people, the people who are supposed to be representing us, right. deliver to us what their oath and what that office demands. That's right. All right. right. right and that is justice. justice. Murder charges brought against these officers. That's right. Because let me assure Murder. you, if the situation in the table will turn. Right. It would not take Yo, a year. No, no, right. Right. It wouldn't take a week. No, 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 no. It wouldn't take a day. No, 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 no. You would be fighting your way out from the charges. That's right. That's right. As opposed to us trying to fight our way into the charges. Now, just so you know, we have a lot of people here today from the city of San Francisco. Right. But we also have people from around the world. I'm seeing news cameras from all over the world here, in particular CNBC and other places, Come who are on. coming to shine the light on what's all happening right, in the dark. Right, 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 right. We may have a magazine from France here covering this. We have people from all over the world. So don't think that this fight is in the cover of darkness or in vain. The world is watching San Francisco. That's right. The world is watching. And I'm going to be right here fighting with the rest of everybody else that's here for justice for our family. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's, let's, let's welcome, let's welcome a brother that led the movement to bring down the first cop ever that has killed a black man that we have in the history of this country who led the fight for Oscar Grant. Brother Keith. Greet all of you with the greeting words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language. Assalamu alaikum. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad gave us a principle on which we stand as we stand before you today. He declared these words. We want justice. justice. Equal justice under the law. We want justice applied equally to all regardless of creed or class or color. Our, Our brother Martin Luther King once said that the mark or the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. We stand firmly with the community here in San Francisco to make a demand on D.A. Gosco, on the state attorney general, and on the Attorney General of the United States of America to stop turning blind eyes right. on these cases when the victim of police murder are black and brown and poor. We say we want to see the charge of murder. Right. Yeah. Now in Oakland, in the case of Johannes Mezzeli, for the murder of Oscar Grant, we were shocked when we studied, and it didn't take long to discover that Johannes Mendeley was the first cop in the history of the state of California to be charged with murder, yeah. which only means that DA officers and cops have acted in collusion. There's a conspiracy here. There's an underhanded plan to protect Rogue cops. Well, yeah, say that. right. And while we may call on our attorneys to lead us in a settlement, the ultimate settlement is called justice. justice. There's no dollar amount on that. Right. The ultimate settlement is called justice. justice. We don't need to wait for five years, for four years. How many months does it take? to charge a videotape murderer. Come on. If you or I 
kill anybody on videotape. We'd be sitting behind bars without the ability to post bail. Right. We want justice. Equal justice under the law. We want justice applied equally to all, regardless of creed or class or color. In closing, as we approach the 21st anniversary of the Million Man March, my mind cannot forget the image of the mothers of the movement in October on the steps of Washington, D.C. Not one, not two, not three, but more than a hundred mothers and families whose children have been slain by law enforcement where hardly ever a charge is wrong. We're asking D.A. Gaston. In fact, we're demanding. Demanding. D.A. Gaston. D.A. Gaston. Act properly. That's right. Stop hiding. Stop hiding behind the banner of law. Stop making excuses about the value of the evidence. We have seen the evidence. There's nothing holding you back from bringing charges, D.A. Gaston, other than you. So we ask and we demand that you do justice while justice is in your hands to do. May God say and keep you as I greet you all. I salute you. Thank you. Right. We're going to close out our program with our official leader, yes. organizer of the Justice for Mario Woods Coalition. Without further ado, Minister Christopher Mohammed. Yeah. Greetings to all. Thank you for taking time out of your lunch, out of your school, taking time to make this stand, this historic stand. It's because of the teary-eyed mothers, the grieving mothers, the pained parents that we're here today, not just in sympathy, but in empathy. We feel their pain. And to that end, we are duty-bound to act. We thank Mother Gwen Woods for her strength, her courage. We thank Mother Danica Chapman for her strength and courage. Yes, yeah. We thank Mother Wanda Johnson, the mother of Oscar Grant, for her strength yeah. and her courage. Yes, we thank Mother Elvira Pietro for her strength yeah. and courage. And all of the mothers that are here today, we want to thank them and give them a round of applause yeah. for the first yeah. time. Mothers of the movement have come together yeah. to demand justice for their children. We thank the doctors. We thank the medical students because this is a public health crisis. The murder of our young people is a public health crisis. We don't like the fact that we don't have equal justice under the law. Recently, a white male Right, right, right. Carrying a semi-automatic weapon right. in downtown San Francisco. Right. Threatening police. Right. Threatening the citizens. The police had to shut it down and evacuate UN Plaza and Market Street wow. to protect the citizens against a threat coming from a white male carrying a semi-automatic gun. But the police department seeing him as a fellow human being decided to negotiate with him for six hours to give SFPD a round of applause for following its training. They are trained to de-escalate critical incidences. We thank you, SFPD, for following training that's been in place for years. It's not new training, it's training that you've had for years. The young man surrendered after a six hour standoff with negotiators. Because you were trained to negotiate with human beings. The 
this young man was arrested and then sent to the hospital. Wow. 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 And he now is alive to tell about it. Wow. The police said this is an example of good policing. Wow. They said that this was a troubled human being. Problem. He had a bad hair day. Right, 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 right. He had a bad work day. Right. And we're glad that we were able to intervene in this troubled human being's life. Let's give SFPD a round of applause. Yes, for using the tools that you have when you deal with human beings. Our problem is, okay. Mario Woods never had the chance. Oh, yeah. Alex Nieto never had the chance. Oh, yeah. Luis Gongora Pat never had the chance. No, he didn't. Jessica Nelson Williams never got the chance. Yeah. No, she didn't. Yes. No, oh, she didn't. Kenneth Harding Jr. never got the chance. No, never got the chance. You didn't apply the tools you had to deal with human beings because you did not see them as human beings. We now know and confirm what we already knew that white lives matter in San Francisco. But you have another training for animals. You have another training for what you perceive as thugs. Wow. Gang bangers, bootlums, wow. and that training means when you see them, you shoot first and ask questions later. We want the same training for black and brown and poor that you give for white and rich and wealthy in yes, this city. Yes, yes, we want that song known better. In fact, our Latino district attorney knows better. Okay. We have sat with him. He's a decent and likable guy, but we don't like him more than we love Justin. So D.A. Gascon, he knows the truth. We've given him evidence. This community has given him and supported the gathering of the evidence to try these officers. What the hell are you waiting for 10 months after the fact? In Tulsa, the DA charged that officer in murder. In Oakland, the DA charged the murder of Oscar with murder. So we know it can be done. So you holding back and holding off causes a smell in the community. We don't know what we're smelling, but we're smelling something that smells like politics. The police in this city are controlled by their union and their union is a bunch of gangbangers. Yeah. The police, and that's not my word. Howard. That's the words of the Blue Ribbon Panel judges. He called them gang. Yeah. Oh, oh. To your credit, D.A. Gascon, you assembled the Blue Ribbon Panel to expose racism in the police department. And you were right. And they did expose it. Yes, yeah. The question becomes for you, are you ready to take the next bold step? And we are here. Black, brown, red, yellow, white, rich, poor, male and female, to encourage you to do the right thing and warn you if you don't do the right thing, your career is over. Yeah. Latino DA, we've got a black police chief, we've got a black president of the board of supervisors, we've got a Chinese mayor, with all of this diversity, and guess what, they're all Democrats, they're not Republicans, they're not the boogeymen, they are Democrats, they're Chinese, they're Latino, they're black, 
they're women. So we have the spectrum of diversity. Why are we calling out for justice in San Francisco? Why? And why is our crying Why? Something is wrong. Something is wrong with this picture. We don't need more black officers. No. Or Latino officers. Or more women officers. Okay. Or more uh, Asian officers. It's not a problem of hiring. The problem is when you hire black, brown, red, yellow, and white, they have to fit into a culture of blue. And that blue culture. Make our point today. We're not going to start this train from moving. So fly a 747 over us if you want to. We're going to march on until victory is won and justice rolls down the mountain like a mighty stream. So now we're asking you, the community, because we don't know if our DA got the message. Uh, okay. So we're now going to hand deliver the message, oh, okay. yes, and we're going to ask all of you to walk in That's right. to your hall of injustice, yeah. Come on. and let's go to DA Gascon's office yes, and deliver a personal message that we expect him to do the right thing. Thank you for your support. Yes, now join us in the next phase of our movement. Greetings to all. Power to the people. Power to the people. Justice delayed is justice denied. 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 All right, folks. Come on, let's do it. It is hotter than a pistol out here. So I'm not going to go in uh, inside. But we will hang out here for a couple of minutes. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. We're out in front of 850 Bryant, the Hall of Injustice. Uh, we're here protesting police murders of black and brown people. We have a nice crowd of about 100 people out here today, and uh, it is hot. I uh, Sorry if uh, the camera angle wasn't that great, but as you can see, I was lots of people around, and uh, maybe this demonstration will have an effect. Uh, personally, I don't know. But much love for everybody that's watching. I'll see if anybody's on the chat. Hey, my two, my two cents. Thanks a lot. Uh, we're in San Francisco. And uh, let's see who else. Oh, yeah, Stax and on. Uh, thank you, Stax. I uh, always appreciate uh, your work in Ferguson. So we love you. And I'm going to go ahead and end the stream because it's just way too hot out of here. And I need a drink of water and to get my life together here. But uh, much love for everybody to watch. And this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, signing off. Everybody have a wonderful day.